Today on Marvelous TV, we're exploring the incredible world of costume design. Jose Fernandez, master sculptor, costume designer, and founder of the Ironhead Studio, is well known for his costume designs on films such as Batman vs. Superman, The Avengers, Captain America Civil War, The Amazing Spider-Man, and many more. So let's get ready to explore the world of creature creation, sculpting, and costume design with Jose Fernandez and the Ironhead Studio. I'm here with Jose Fernandez, and he is the founder of Ironhead Studio. You got to tell me, how did all of this begin? It started probably 30 years ago when I just started working in this kind of field. And then about 20 years, the short, the kind of short route is about 20 years freelance working for multiple people. And then people were telling me through that time I should open my own studio. I wasn't really into it or thought that wouldn't be a good choice for me. But about 20 years in, I thought, you know what, I probably, it's, it's time. So then I did. About 10 years ago, I found this space. I got my first job, free, yeah, freelance as, a, as my own guy, and then started building this company. Now, what was your first big project as Ironhead? A uh, big one was probably Tron. The Helmets for Tron was my first big, big break when I was finally established. When I got my foot in the door on Batman, which they told me I would never sculpt anything related to Batman or anything, <laughs> I would just be doing um, detail on Danny Tevito's fat suit. So that's fine. So I, I got in the door, and then they came to a point where they needed somebody to sculpt Catwoman, and everybody was busy at the time they hired. And Steve Wang was there, and a few of the people they brought from England. And I raised my hand, I said I would do it. And they were like, yeah, no. And I said, okay, but I kept being persistent. So finally they just had to get something started so they allowed me to try. And of course, everything I had to that point was like put into that thing and, and it worked. So they were like, oh, okay, he's pretty good. Michelle Pfeiffer, I, I still have a soft spot for that thing. Um, I was probably 26, put everything I had in that cowl and I'm still proud of it. I'm still proud of it. And then they allowed me to redo the cowl because they had a fitting and it didn't fit um, Keaton. So I had to redo the cowl like overnight. So then I got to do those two, two key pieces for that film and that kind of started the path down special costume. And you were only 26 years old at the time? Roughly about, yeah, 26. Well, you have worked on other Batman films. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, I think four total. Um, the Ben, the Superman versus Batman Ben suit, we, I got another shot at it. The earlier ones I worked on, the Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, which oh, wow. most people want to, you know, it was, you know, anyways, the suit was cool. Um, and then uh, Ben, I got to come do it again, which is, I always wanted to revisit it and do it more gritty, and that's exactly where they wanted to go, and that was satisfying as well. Now, you've worked with Ben Affleck previously in Daredevil. What yeah. was the process as Batman like the second time around? Daredevil wasn't a great experience for a lot of people. I was, you know, I was hired to do something. I think I did a decent job at it. You know, film, like it or don't like it. I think he was a little unsure about it. So. When I was brought in, he looked at me at first, I was like, uh-oh, what's he gonna do? But then he warmed up, we had, we were old friends, and it became great. This is obviously Batman from the recent yeah. Batman versus Superman. What goes into something like this? This is a hand-sculpted piece. A lot of the stuff we did was a combination of both, you know, digital and hand-sculpt. But this one, they wanted that rough quality, so this one we hand-sculpted. We did multiple versions. They would bring artwork. Um, with this particular one, they brought this the artwork, we nailed it where we hit that mark and then they decided, you know, we want, it was too slick. So then they backed up and made it more crude or brutal, which is great. And that's what I was pleased with too. We got to do that. So they wanted to feel like it's been worn and used. So that's where all the strike marks and dings and it looks kind of just heavy and just you know, strong in that way. But on like on the Ben Batman, the one we just did, I, you know, sculpted the cowl first in clay so we'd have the feel of it and then we went in digital then we scanned it we would bring it in the computer we can t torture it a bit and then we can add texture so it was a hybrid which i like to do quite a bit of these days it, so i still sometimes i'll do a sketch a small scale down so if i'm doing a full size head i'll do a miniature about that big and then get all the notes and weights and all the feeling right and then we'll scan it and then we can the computer doesn't doesn't know, doesn't care how big it is, then we can enlarge it on the actor's head. We'll scan the actor, we'll put it on their head, we'll tweak it, and then we can output it to fit them. Now, is this an act, the actual suit that Ben wore? 
No, this, I mean, this is a one of, what I did is we were contracted to do the suit and it was about a, I don't even remember exactly. It was, it was over a year, I think we were on it, but this suit probably was six or eight months in the making to, from concept to finish. And then once we had the mill working, I made one for myself. Uh, very few of these things in my studio are screen worn. There's a couple bits, most of it is, but we built the ones we just built an extra. So I would have it for a display and also to pr show other clients, they always come in and say, great. I and mean, when early on I did, I think X-Men was my first kind of standalone costume. And then they said, great, you can do leather, but what about spandex? I'm like, yes, but unless I show it to them, prove it to them, they don't get it. So this, I have all these different things. You have uh, tech, you have crude, you have muscles, you have spandex, leather. So now they get it. How much of this is actually Ben Affleck and how much of this is just molded muscle? Uh, well, the the thing you get with Ben, which is great, is he is big. He's six three, a, a real six three, not a not a Hollywood six foot, <laughs> but a real six three. And his shoulders are really wide. He's he's not. I mean, he's naturally got really broad shoulders. So you have the framework, and then yeah, we enhance. We in in any, I'd say ninety percent or ninety nine percent of your superheroes all have muscle suits. These are all of the helmets from the recent Tron. How did you get involved with that project? So that one was, I, well, everybody heard about it going on and I was a newer company at the time. I really wanted in, but I also knew I couldn't handle the entire show. So there was another friend of mine, another company who got the contract for the suits and I knew the helmets were still out there. There's a few other elements because it was so big, they were breaking it up. And I knew it was my, uh, my, it was my way in in getting established as a, a bigger company, as a company, and also getting into digital. Because I, at that point, I know I've know about I've known about digital. I've used it briefly, but it wasn't really something I had in my wheelhouse. So I needed to, I needed this job, and I wanted the job, and I knew a lot of people in there, so I was able to land it. So that was a huge coup for me. I didn't make any of the money, which is fine. I put everything they paid me into the helmets because I knew it would be a calling card. So I thought, I just need the job, I'll nail it. It'll be like, a now people see this and it, it's better, this is better than me making money on the job because now this is a great, like it's calling card a reference for what I can do. And it brought me into the digital age, which like I said, before this I was always doing everything by hand. Mm -hmm. So it helped in many ways.